Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery and you cannot see the whole canvas. It's a 24 by 24 by 2 inch deep gallery wrap. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I should start again. Anyway, these are makeup sponges that you can pull apart one wedge at a time. And hopefully my auto focus will focus. Those are the leaves that I have just stamped with makeup sponges that I cut in the shape of leaves. They're not perfect, but I don't think they need to be perfect. This is not necessarily how you'll want to do this, but so I cut off my corners. All four corners. Actually, that's pretty good leaf shape. And then you can trim off your little little nubs, but leaves have some nubs, so it's not the end of the world. You can cut down further if you want. I wanted to get a little leaf stem, but that really wasn't happening. So this is what this will look like, right here. And I have a friend just dropped me off something she didn't have room in her studio for anymore. She's not a saver like I am. And these are my colors. My colors are, can I put that down somewhere here? Oh, I can, that's so cool. My colors are Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold, green gold from Folk Art, that's color shifting, emerald green from Deco Art Americana, and some purple iridescent, with iridescent pearl fine in it. You could do any purple metallic that you wanted to. And my suggestion to you if you're going to do this is to use less is more because the first thing I did was put out way too much of that green gold. But now that I've gotten a little further along, it looks like I might be able to use it up. In any case, I'll do a few of these for you guys. And I like to let the sponge do the talking. So I've got a little bit of everything on there. And I really don't mind the odd shapes. And more paint is acceptable, less paint is acceptable. I'm going to be putting my trees in afterwards on this. And probably a whole lot more leaves, I'm thinking. This is the first time I've ever done this, so you don't have to take my word for this, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I kind of wanted some leaves, but I wasn't sure what I was doing and uh, or how I was going to do it. And so I thought experimenting would be a good thing. I don't think you can really do it wrong. Like I said, I'm going to be scooping on my, my tree trunks afterwards. And I'm probably just going to keep adding leaves until I feel like stopping. But um, I think I've showed you enough. You can do a salad color, you can do the triple colors like I did, you can do as many colors as you wanted in any colors that you wanted. Leaves don't have to be green, of course. You can put them one on top of each other or in little clusters. You can just keep layering them until you have what I would refer to as denser foliage. And when I put my tree trunks in here, I will lead some of my branches so that the leaves look cohesive. I really don't think you can do it wrong. But I like picking kind of a random pattern. The more random, the better in my opinion. I'm hoping you can see most of what I'm doing. You can leave the little... This is just basically a dip. So you can let them go right over the side if you want to use your little makeup sponge. I'm sure you can get that makeup sponge block in pretty much any drugstore. They're not on my Amazon link under the link tree under the video right now, but they might be by the time they might be by the time I check or post the other half of this video, which will probably be the listed part. Well, this will probably be unlisted. 
and I'm really getting some fairly decent coverage. I've spent half an hour or so doing this and you don't get a perfect stamp every time but I wouldn't expect to either. So I like what I've got and it's a place to start because whatever I feel like I'm missing I can always add later and I've used up all my paint which is always good for me. I hate, hate wasting paint. And I've talked to you guys long enough to make sure to tell you I have over 1800 videos and check out my playlist. Go to all playlists, create a playlist on my YouTube channel and you will find them there. I don't know if I need to rinse out the makeup sponges or if they'll stamp just as well the next time I want to use them when the paint dries on them. I guess I'll find out and I have quite a few of them left so if it turns out that it's a good idea to, um, to rinse them out, I'll just cut more next time. So, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm going to put this aside for a few minutes. Tell you guys I'd love to get your thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos and watching them longer. And um, when you watch them, when notifications come out, it's a really big help to me. Thank you all. Thank you all for the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. Can I zoom in on that? I'm not sure why I would. It looks like wallpaper. <laughs> I have an Amazon link under my link tree and... Uh, if you shop there, it's at no added cost to you, but it helps me out, and my two books are there because I can in limited possibilities. Thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting, and look for the exhibition video on the end screen of every video. It will share with you what the monthly prizes are for those of you who contribute to help keep the studio making videos. Um, I do a drawing at the end of the month, and there's usually paintings, and sometimes calendars, and sometimes books. But right now, I'm pretty sure it's just paintings. So under the video, check for Teespring clothing, all over print leggings, and all over print t-shirts. And follow the links to Pixels.com and Fine Art America to find out what, I, what else I've published that can become stuff. And if you want stuff to become stuff, let me know. My email address is underneath the video, so if you want to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to contact me regarding a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida for a lesson, or if you are interested in making a purchase, please feel free to use my email address. I'm sure there's all kinds of other stuff I should tell you, but um, you'll have seen it or you're going to see it in the end of another video. So if you let the videos run out and watch commercials, you're a big assistance to me. I love you guys, all of you. Thank you very much for being here, and I hope you come again. I post at 3.15 p.m. and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. also. I love you guys. See you and on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I just said that.